Okay, so we're looking at the A5 reflection, which is basically about designing studies. So, and then I do have the link to the Cami in there, which is this one. It's got some of my notes. I don't know why it turned all black on me. Maybe I'll refresh it and that'll be better. So, um, divide the math club members according to grade and then select random samples from each grade to survey about their favorite math club activities. What sampling method is used? So, how many samples are we taking here? Well, we're actually doing random samples from each grade level, so there would be four samples. What does that look like? That looks kind of like this one, where we're doing multiple samples. So um, that would be a stratified sampling method. So we'll hit stratify. Mrs. Overman decides to record student grades and phone use in class to see if there is an association between phone use and grades. Determine which technique she is using. So I'm just recording. I'm not changing anything. We call that one an observational study. So an experiment, I would be randomly assigning my classes on the phone policy, but I'm just actually recording. So that would be an observational study. Mrs. Overman decides to play different styles of music in each of her classes and then compares the average grade in the class to the style of music played. She randomly picks the music and the students do not get to choose. So when you're randomizing, figuring out what music or what treatment, then that would be an experiment. Mrs. Overman has all of her students take a survey on their favorite type of music. What style, what is the style of gathering data? Um, this should be all of my students and I'm having them take a survey. So this is the census. So that's, and should come back all correct. And it does, yay. It's good when the stats teacher gets the right answer, right? Census is when you record data on all your students. Okay. So now we're looking at some similar problems. Divide the math club members of court. Whoa, I think I have a duplicate. Yes, so I'm going to delete that so you can ignore that. Let me pause while I fix that. Okay, I fixed my duplicate question. So now uh, we are taking a survey of local restaurants to determine what percentage have weekend shifts for students. Assume we have a directory for all the restaurants listing their address, phone number, email, website, and restaurant type. We survey every 20th restaurant in the directory. Name the sampling technique used. Again, the easiest method of them all, I'm going back, it's a systematic sample where you're just doing every nth. Okay, so that would be systematic. We put all the restaurants in a hat and select the sample to survey. Well, that pretty much sounds like simple random because we just put everybody in a hat. Where is it? Right there. And we pick some and then we survey them. All right. We asked the stat students in our class what restaurants they work at. And so that sounds pretty lazy. We're gonna call that convenience. We grouped the restaurants according to type. So fast food, Mexican, et cetera. We randomly select 10 restaurants from each category. So that means we're gonna have a fast food sample, a Mexican food sample, a Chinese food sample. That's lots of samples. And lots of samples is typically stratified. All right, so we got stratified. We randomly select a few streets in town and survey all of the restaurants on those streets. So we're doing, we're kind of randomly selecting groups of restaurants and that would be cluster. So cluster looks like this. So we put the street names in here and anybody on those street names we would pick. So we'll submit our answers there. And now we get to Match each study with the appropriate type. We interview a sample of students to determine if they learn better in a flipped classroom. That sounds like a sampling. We're not doing an experiment. We, do, we are not doing everybody and we're not doing a simulation. Now, you could probably say, wait, Mrs. Overman, simulation is sort of an experiment. Yeah, sort of, I could see that. But simulation is very particular. Uh, we randomly assign students to classrooms with and without technology to determine the impact on their grades. So we are subjecting them to a treatment they don't get to choose. So if we're going to study types here, that would be an experiment, all right? So we use a computer in a physics class to model the flight of a projectile. That 
is the classic example of a simulation. All right. We survey every student in school about their voter registration status. When we do everyone, that is a census. All right. And so I'll go ahead and submit the answer here. And you can tell me what you learn, what you're still struggling with. Remember, this is 22 points, and I do look at these, all right? So please share with me here. Um, it's usually easier to tell me what you're struggling with than the three things you learned, but I'm happy with either answer. So put your answer there and look forward to seeing you in class.